Welcome back to Modern Tactical Shooting. Now, in this video clip I'm about to play, it's from 2014. I'm using a Mark 18, and I'm about to shoot one of my favorite drills, and that is Kyle Lamb's 222 drill. That's where you have three targets, and you shoot them two shots each as fast as you can. Now, I'm going to play this clip a few times, but I want to see if you notice something with my method of engagement. So let's hit the clip. Two, stand by. Now, I'm going to play the clip again, and I want you to pay attention to my trigger finger. If you didn't notice it in the first run, I'm not shooting a semi-auto. I don't have six trigger pulls. I'm actually only pulling the trigger three different times, and that's because the rate, the full auto rate on this Mark 18 is so low that I can actually feel when the rounds are leaving the barrel, and I can control that full auto rate. So let's check out the clip one more time. Stand by. So how was I able to do that? Well, that Mark 18, that was equipped with the Fur Franz system. Now, what is the Fur Franz system? Well, I have a Fur Franz upper right here on my SBR lower. The Fur Franz system is a muzzle device and a redesigned bolt carrier that allows the shooter using an AR or M4 pattern rifle uh, ultimate, I would say, full auto control, and that's done by basically cutting the rate of full auto in half. So how does Fur Friends do it? Well, let's get into it right now. Now, I first heard of Fur Friends way back in 2009. I was watching a show called Ultimate Weapons. I believe it was Discovery Channel, uh, episode number four, and it was titled CQB or Close Quarter Battle, and it was listing their picks for the top 10 Close Quarter Battle Rifles and Fur Franz was number nine on the list. And in the video, uh, the gun uh, being shot by the owner, Ferdy Sai, uh, his M4 was really uh, holding rounds on target. If you watch the video, it's available still on Amazon, and there's some clips of it here on YouTube, but some magnificent shooting of one of his guns basically being able to hold long full auto bursts out to 50, 60 yards, no problem. And I was fascinated by this. Now, lucky for me, one of the commentators in the video is a gentleman named David Crane. He's the owner and editor of DefenseReview.com, and it was around, I would say, 2008 going into 2009. That's when I actually started writing for Defense Review. So, of course, I contacted David Crane to see if he could set up an arrangement where I could get one of these fur fan rifles to try. And lo and behold, I was provided with a Fur Franz bolt carrier. And that's the heart of the system. They have their own modified bolt carrier. Uh, and it was a DI version at the time. And uh, I, went to a, I went about testing it. Now, before I get into really how Fur Franz works in the entire system, uh, let me talk a little bit about really the M4 and really the only, I would say, issue with the M4. This, of course, is not one. And that is its controllable uh, controllability on full auto. So if you're a fan of my channel, you'll know this is a clone of my work gun from my last tour of combat back in 2015, uh, an M4, basically a Block II style M4. Now, it may surprise or may not surprise you to learn that during my 19 years in Special Forces, we rarely trained on using full auto fire. We did 90%, I would say 99% of our training in semi-auto, working on super fast double taps, super fast five round strings, practicing to drive that target down with rapid semi-auto fire. Why did we not use full auto? Uh, when you think it makes more sense? Well, the problem is the cyclic rate on the M4, and of course, this is just an AR-15, but the cyclic rate on the, with the M4 and the Mark 18 is way up there. It's around 900 rounds per minute, and that's way too fast if you're gonna do anything over uh, a three or four round burst to try and hold that gun on target really beyond a couple of yards, and it really becomes not too feasible, and that's why it's rarely trained on. Now, I have used full auto in combat. I'll talk about that uh, here later on in the video, but again, the one fault with the M4, and it's an awesome rifle. I've done nine tours of combat uh, with an M4 or a Mark 18, but having a full auto setting on the gun, uh, sure, it's great and all, but if it's not practical and feasible, then it's kind of a, uh, I would say, a wasted option or wasted capability 
with the rifle. Even running suppressed, while running a suppressor does help uh, minimize that recoil, that muzzle rise. Uh, again, because suppressors add more pressure into the gun, it jacks up that cyclic rate. And even running suppressed in full auto, as you see in this clip right here, the gun's super fast and really it's pretty difficult to keep the gun on target. So I have a couple of Fur Friends systems here. Here I have a full Fur Friends rifle. This is a 14 and a half inch uh, pinned and welded with the Fur Friends compensator, which I'll talk about here in a minute. And a 10 and a half inch Fur Friends upper, again on my SBR lower. I also have a seven and a half inch Fur Friends upper, which you might see in one of the clips here. But let's go over what makes up the Fur Friends system itself. So the Fur Friends system mainly consists of two items and that is the muzzle device and that modified bolt carrier. Now the muzzle device is a compensator, it's their own compensator, and actually I think it's one of the best compensators out there. Uh, in terms of effectiveness, it does control muzzle rise and it's not that loud, gassy, and obnoxious. And I've been using one of these uh, for years on my competition guns. If I'm running an AR, even when I was an Adams Arms brand ambassador, which I was for 10 years and I ran Adams Arms guns, I always put a Fur Franz muzzle device on the rifles just because they shoot so smooth. Now the bolt carrier, I'm going to disappoint a lot of people. I'm not going to actually show any detailed images of the bolt carrier. Uh, Ferdy Side, the creator of the Fur Friends system, he asked me not to show uh, his bolt carrier in detail. I'm no, I know I'm going to disappoint a lot of the viewers here, but I will say this. Uh, since 2018, Surefire has been offering a bolt carrier called their Optimized Bolt Carrier, and it looks strangely very similar to the Fur Franz design. Uh, Surefire offered this in 2018, while the Fur Franz bolt carrier system has really been out since the early 2000s, so it long predates the Surefire model. I'm not claiming anything here, I'm just saying it looks strangely very similar to the Fur Franz model. Now, getting back to the Fur Friends, this is a complete rifle. I've had, I have a few complete Fur Friends rifles. Now, I know I've been on a big AK kick. If you've been watching my competition videos, I've been running an M90, uh, Zestava M90, the last two years in competitive shooting. But when I do run an AR, and I started running Fur Friends ARs in 2017, uh, I run a Fur Friends rifle. This is a complete Fur Friends rifle right here. 14 and a half inch barrel pinned and welded. This is a proprietary Fur Friends M-Lock handguard. Now the diameter of this handguard is a lot wider or the circumference is larger than most of your modern M-Lock handguards. And that's done on purpose. Everything with the Fur Friends system is built around full auto fire. So if you have a very narrow handguard that's closer to the barrel, of course, that's going to heat up faster with prolonged fire, and the whole idea is these guns in combat are going to be shot mainly on full auto, so you have a little bit wider diameter of that handguard, again, to just have some more distance from the barrel to keep the handgun cooler longer. Also, these guns all come with machine gun or heavyweight barrels. This barrel I actually, or this gun, I actually rebarreled a few months ago. I got it in 2017, and after years of running it in matches and training, I hit the point where I had enough bore erosion, it was losing accuracy. So I actually just got a replacement barrel from Ferdy about two weeks ago. Here's the old barrel, and you can see just the weight and the diameter of this barrel. I mean, it, uh, it's definitely a heavyweight machine gun barrel, because again, the whole idea with the Fur Friends is these are meant to be combat rifles, meant to be shot on full auto. Now, of course, this is a semi-auto version, but again, it's still spec to be built around full auto fire. And Ferdy, his rifles are focused on combat, so really combat specs. In terms of accuracy, uh, with my previous barrel, I was getting probably just under three MOA with off-the-shelf ammo, which is within mil spec. Right now, the United States Army, their spec for being a quality barrel is actually pretty dismal. It's under five, oh, uh, five MOA at 100 yards is the current standard. Uh, Ferdy standards are still within mil spec and I was probably getting around 2.7 uh, minutes of angle if I remember correctly with this barrel. Again, this is from 2017 with your average store-bought ammo. Uh, this barrel I have not actually taken the range and grouped yet. I just mounted it. I threw on this old school Elbit Falcon really just for the looks of this video. I haven't put my proper competition scope on here yet. 
So I'm gonna hit the range and check the accuracy. Right now, Ferdy is using all melanated barrels inside and out. Now, these are gas piston guns. He does make gas direct options, but let me grab my shorty right here. Now, this one does have the Fur France CRD on it. Uh, this is the concussion reduction device. Basically, when you ever use a muzzle, uh, a compensator, uh, you have a lot of excess gas coming out the sides, and of course, compensators are loud and obnoxious. And for combat or close shooting, when you're trying to shoot close in confined spaces, the gas coming out of these muzzle brakes and compensators, you feel it, and it's just way too much, and you don't want to be within two or three feet of these muzzle devices, and that goes with all compensators just because the gas coming out the sides. Well, with the CRD, it basically contains that muzzle blast so you can stand right next to these compensators and you're not going to be hit with that wave of hot air, that pressure from that blast of that muzzle. All right, real quick, I want to mention one product that I think is a quality item, and that is this gun cleaning mat from falcontactical.com. It is their AR-15 Builders gun cleaning mat. And honestly, if you've had an eagle eye, you may have noticed it's made an appearance in my automatic watch video and my Source 35L patrol pack review. So I've actually had this mat a few months now. I'm not going to recommend any product to my channel, even if I get it free, unless I try it out and I at least wanted to use this for a few months to make sure it was quality. Honestly, this mat is twice as thick as my old Glock mat. Now, this has compressed due to use, but really this is a super thick mat, uh, three feet by one foot rubber with a neoprene cover, and the price is actually pretty good for what they're offering. It retails for $21.95 on their uh, website, and they offer multiple colors. At the time of this video, I think they're out of stock with most of their colors but black is in stock. Now, of course, these make great weapon cleaning mats. I like to use them as mouse pads and padding on my table here, so I'm dropping guns and stuff. They're not banging around. So again, that's falcontactical.com. I'll put a link down in the description. I think it's a quality mat and it's of good value. So how effective is the CRD? Well, it does do a good job at redirecting all that excessive gas so it's not coming out the sides and blasting fellow shooters who might be in close proximity of your muzzle. But what I've found is it creates too much muzzle flash, so much so that you really can't use it in a tactical scenario. I've tried it, it's too much muzzle blast. Uh, you're gonna give your position away. You're gonna be blinding yourself under nods. So I'm not a fan of this CRD at all. Now, as far as the muzzle brake, I'm a fan. Again, especially for competitive shooting, very effective brake. In a tactical scenario, muzzle brakes, compensators, they're just not really that practical at all. I've tried it. I'm not the only SF guy to try using a muzzle brake or compensator in combat, but too much excessive gas is coming out the sides. It's fine if you're out in the open and patrolling around but in CQB or confined space, you just really can't run a muzzle brake because you're gonna blast your buddies with all that excessive gas. Now, this gun has a maximum defense butt stock on Fur Franz military guns. They're coming with maximum defense stocks. It's a pretty cool stock. It's very simple. It's one lever uh, to collapse. It has two positions. Very minimalistic stock on this SBR. Again, I got a tax stamp, so ATF don't come after me. I actually met the Maximum Defense guys a few years ago at uh, Fort Bragg at one of the exposés. They're actually some pretty cool guys. So yeah, Maximum Defense stock. Now, Ferdy is going to be supplying uh, his Fur Franz military rifles with a newer stock. I don't know if it's an updated version of a Maximum Defense or another stock, but he said he's going to send me uh, his current stock that he'll be offering on his current military rifles. Now, as far as the operating system that Fur Friends is using, he has both DI and piston driven guns, and that's just the method of operation. The guns don't rely on, say, piston for the CRD, the muzzle brake to work, or that uh, bolt carrier. The heart of the gun is that modified bolt carrier. Now, I've taken the screw out of the handguard, again, proprietary Fur Friends M Lock handguard. It just slides right out after you take off the one retaining screw. A uh, very solid, firm design, I'm a fan. And this is a short stroke piston system. It's not proprietary to Fur Friends. Uh, again, they're just using the piston as a method of operations. And that's what currently coming on Fur Friends military guns is this short stroke piston system. And again, he also has a DI version. 
This is not what makes the rate reduction system work. This is just the method of, of course, operating the rifle. So I know the big question is, is the Furfran system effective? Is, does it truly cut the full auto right in half, or is it just a gimmick? I can tell you from first-hand experience, it truly is an effective system. I've tried it in the Mark 18, and with regards to my clone of my work gun from 2015, uh, if you are into the cloning of guns and there's a huge market, or I would say a huge field of cloning rifles, I've talked about it in some articles and stuff. Well, if you wanted to build a true clone of my work gun, it's referred to as the Stuka clone online because my name in a lot of forums is Stuka's 87. So this has picked up the nickname, the Stuka clone. Well, it has a Fur Franz DI bolt carrier in it and I've used it. Uh, talking about full auto and combat, I've used it to lay down suppressive fire uh, and it's very effective when you can actually hold the gun on target and send long strings of, I would say, accurate full auto bursts towards those threats that you're trying to suppress. And I've done it my last tour. I've done it in a few tours. I've tried the system in the M4A1 and of course in the Mark 18. Now really the only drawback to full auto fire, once you get the controllability down, and I really wish uh, the Army would look at the Fur Friend system, at least the bolt carrier. Uh, we are currently still using the URGI upper, that upper receiver group improved. Uh, I know the M7 is coming into play here uh, going into 2024, but really what makes uh, full auto another aspect not feasible is the selector lever. Now, of course, 90 degrees on a military gun, you go to semi, but to go to full auto, you have to rotate it all the way over to 180. And that's just not practical and feasible to do in a timely manner, say like you're in a CQB situation trying to select that lever all the way over. And that's another reason why full auto doesn't get trained on a lot or used a lot. Uh, I wish uh, military designers, rifle designers would look at changing the selector lever uh, to say a 45 degree throw for semi and a 90 degree throw for full auto. And I think that would be optimum. And I would that would be one more step to making using full auto more feasible, or if you had a burst setting, still making it more feasible. The 180 throw is just too far. Now I know back in the day, back in the NAM days, that put their selector lever on full auto and just let loose, but we do have different training standards in the last 20 and 30 years where we don't run our guns hot all the time and of course finger outside the trigger well. But again, I think that's just one more step that needs to be looked at is having a different uh, safety lever set up on the M4 or AR pattern of rifle. Now you're gonna see this rifle here show up in a lot of my future videos. I'm gonna jump back to ARs and lay off AKs for a while. Now again, this is a complete Fur Franz rifle. Now I do wanna mention the rail covers on here. They're from Slate Black Industries along with this vertical foregrip. They're a supporter on my channel. And the buttstock and the magazine that's in this gun right now, it's from a company called Thrill. And I actually never heard of them until Fur Franz sent me some. This is what they're providing with all their uh, rifles now is Thrill's PMX magazine. It's a polymer mag. I just got this and I've only been able to uh, run it a few times at the range, but I'm going to probably do a, a long-term review and see how well these Thrill mags show up. And this Thrill buttstock, which comes with a uh, single point sling mounts or a quick release sling mounts in it. And actually, I kind of dig it. Uh, I've only had it on this rifle before about a week, but it's pretty solid. And uh, so far I'm digging it. And that's by Thrill. Again, I never heard of the company until Fur Friends supplied me with the accessories since that's what's coming on a lot of their current rifles. So how can you get your very own Fur Friends rate reduction system or complete Fur Friends rifle? Well, right now, unfortunately, you really can't. Fur Franz is focused on the Asian Pacific military sales market, two countries that align with the United States. So the focus is on military rifles for military overseas sales. Now, every once in a while, Fur Franz does do a run of rifles in semi-auto to sell to the civilian public here in the U.S. And they do, again, if you're a uh, military unit or really a police unit, you can 
contact Fur Friends and get full auto capable rifles. If you Google Fur Friends, the website that's going to come up is actually Fur Friends from the Philippines. There's actually two Fur Friends companies. There's Fur Friends and Fur Friends USA. I've been dealing with Fur Friends USA, which is again run by Ferdy Sai. He's out of California. Uh, they're actually related, uh, Fur Friends and Fur Friends in the Philippines, but the website that comes up will be about the Fur France SOR. It's a complete same system, but it's all built in the Philippines, uh, and that's you can't get those in the States. So unfortunately, you really can't get complete Fur France rifles right now. Now you can get their muzzle device and CRD. Uh, that's sold through a, a number of different websites. Uh, for their muzzle brake and CRD. And again, I think the Fur Friends muzzle brake is one of the best on the market. Now, of course, I only own Fur Friends semi auto rifles right now, but with the design of the bolt carrier with that floating weight in there, it actually cuts down on the felt recoil even in semi auto. And if you've noticed in some of the clips here, I'm able to shoot some pretty fast splits uh, due to the uh, decreased felt recoil of the Fur Friends system and, of course, this. Uh, pretty cool muzzle brake. So there it is. That's the down and dirty on the Fur Friends rate reduction system and Fur Friends rifles. And these are military guns. And again, they're combat proven. In countries like the Philippines and other Asian Pacific countries that are dealing with their own terrorism, there's a lot of military units running Fur Friends rifles. That's the area that Fur Friends is focused on. So these are combat proven guns. And again, yours truly has some experience running the Fur Friends rate reduction system let's say in some spicy scenarios. So as always, hopefully you found this video enjoyable and entertaining. Now, as I put more rounds through these Thrill magazines, uh, and when I get the newer version of the stock that Ferdy has, and it might be a Maxim Defense stock, maybe the most current version, well, of course, I'll keep you updated here. As always, I'm always going to have new content on the way, gear, guns, shooting techniques, uh, things such as that. So as always, I'm Jeff Gerwich. Thanks for watching.